Good morning on April 1st of 2020, and I want to welcome you to our Breakthrough Prayer Time. And even though this is April Fool's Day, what the message is no joke, and I want to encourage you to uh, have a wonderful day and have some fun, but stay fun. Enjoy yourself today. Our Breakthrough Prayer verse is 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And it says, now this is the confidence that we have in God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Let's pray. God, quiet our hearts. Help us to listen. Show us your will. Guide us to your preferred future. Amen and amen. Our devotion again today, until this time of Lent is over with, which ends on Easter Sunday, April 12th, is from Live, Renewed by Living Water by the Society of St. Andrews. It's a compilation of different devotions from different people. And the scripture that is used for today's devotion comes from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. And the testimony that is shared by Barbara Sales from Orlando, Florida, in the devotional goes like this. It's entitled, The Wilderness of Waiting. The scripture often speaks of things at a great distance of time as if they were now at hand to make us aware that God's time is not our time. We're not very good at waiting, but God's timing brings revelation beyond our imagination. In 1999, I led 30 church members on a mission trip to a remote area of Peru to build a home for orphan boys. Our workstation was nothing more than a plot of grass covered land. We spent our days making adobe bricks, and after two weeks nothing had changed except for the stack of bricks. It seemed daunting to think that it would ever be much more than that. This past summer I returned to Peru, 20 years later. I did not recognize that same place. Now it is a community with a school, library, church, and a ton of happy little boys safe from the horrors of their former life, street life because 20 years ago the process began with a brick. Ending hunger also seems like a daunting task. Jesus said, give them something to eat, and he would do the rest. My faith is in him. And I trust that one day no child will go to bed hungry. Let's pray. O oh God, our human minds cannot imagine the depth of your greatness. Give us patience to wait and faith to trust in your name. Amen. And now let us continue in prayer as we join together in our breakthrough prayer for 2020 here at Tunnel and Warren Chapel, United Methodist Churches. Let's pray. What's next, Papa? What dream do you have for me that only you can fulfill? What dream do you have for my church that only you can fulfill? Let me see the new possibilities you have for me to share my story about you so I can reach new people and make new disciples for Jesus Christ. Let all of us at Tunnel and Warren Chapel see the new possibilities you have for us, to reach new people and to make new disciples for Jesus Christ. In this year of 2020, give us 2020 vision, so that we may see the people in our church, and we may see the people in our community through your eyes so that we may be moved to action as Jesus was. Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening.
We'll gather again, again together again tomorrow morning, and I want to invite you to come and join us. God bless you, and have a great day.